And next up we have Errol Lamb, who is going to do an ad lib. So, round of applause, please. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Are you there? All right. Um, this mic is sounding nice and loud tonight. What happened, man? Uh, wow. You could probably hear it in the next county. Uh, first of all, you heard a man that came up earlier. If you live in District 1, vote for Mr. Jacob Redford. All right. He's here with us. This is the man here, all right? Joe, the name is Jacob Redford. Watch for that name in the coming election and in all coming elections, all right? Watch for that name. He's a fellow student like most of you are. Okay, a couple things. Update on the banners 10 behind me. It is promised that between four to eight weeks, these things will be changed, all right? So watch for it, Bowling Green promises things, Bowling Green State University promises us things, but do, are they gonna carry it out, all right? So I want all of you to watch it between four to eight weeks. Those banners are gonna be changed to more represent the community that we represent, all right? So keep an eye on that. Now this is my second time I'm gonna say this. Next piece. I think one person here, maybe two, three, maybe heard it last Saturday. Three, three years ago, three years ago, 2007, Freedom Organization initiated this session of open mic on a Thursday. Is this right? Right, Reese? All right. It was once a month for two semesters. It continued in the year 2008-2009, once a month again, and in this year, it's 2009-2010, every week. All right? The first year was nice because it was because of Freedom's initiation of bringing up the topic in this open mic session that we had some action on rollover on this campus where the students were being fucked with, all right? And afterwards, there was some action, not enough action, because it was the start of something that... I gotta go down here, I can't stand up. I feel like a politician when I'm standing on the, on the mic here, you know, and that's bad, you know. So anyway, 2007, 2008, and it started out the open mic session on the, on the Thursdays. 2008, 2009, it went on, but because of extenuating circumstances, it was not as good, N meaning, you know, not as vital, not as vivid, not as strong. But this year, with the support of SOS Brigade, a new factor has been introduced, and the open mics continue every week. I would like to tell you publicly, except again, I'll tell the three people who were here, that in my time here at BGSU, little do you know, but this session is one of the best opportunities for you students to come and talk there are no limitations on this session. Just think what Freedom initiated here. You can come to this mic and say anything. There are no limitations, no rules, no regulations, right? And I think that it will grow, and I would like to encourage others to do it. Think of the opportunity that has been given us to come to this union anytime and say anything that we would like to say. No one is telling us what to say or what limits we have to put on ourselves. All right? It is the most radical thing that I've seen on this campus that has potential 
ever for the last three, four years. I mean, even more than that. Because you're involved in it, Reese and Shane and whoever, you do not realize what opportunity this is for you to take it, to take, to make use of. All right? And because the additional factor of the SOS Brigade has been added, it means that this is a powerful opportunity, a powerful opportunity for people to come here, voice their concerns, represent solutions, and let us move forward. Because if we wait for the powers to be to do whatever we think they should do, it will not be done. Do you hear what I said? It will not be done. This is an opportunity, these open mic sessions. Please make use of it. Ideally, it would be nice if we had an open mic every night. Every night by different organizations. It doesn't have to be freedom. Freedom is doing its part. So I wanted to applaud you and tell you of the significance of what this open mic session can represent. All right, thank you. And remember, vote for Jacob Redford. And next up is Andrew, who is going to do some poetry and uh, some advice. Arm of applause, please. I just have I just have a piece of advice for everyone here, and you can take it or leave it. It's just come from my personal experience. Um, I just want everyone to observe observe. Your, I wrote it down so I don't forget it. I said, observe your thoughts because your external reality is only a reflection of your internal perception. So what you focus on, for example, if you focus on negativity or suffering, that's what you're going to bring into your life. So I'm not, at, but I'm not asking you to ignore the problems in the world or change them, but you can change yourself. But the choice is up to you. That's all I wanted to say. Um, and then I kind of have a poem to like back that up, I guess. So you can take it or leave it. Um, I find my way through bundles of brush and tree, if only to get a glimpse beyond. Try as I might to unfold this forceful plight into someone else's doorstep, not my own. If I were to sing with these words, I am sure they would ring, for it is not the words said or notes read, but the feeling. And if it is true, it is beautiful. Looking down, I see my place. I feel it. We are one. Just as the river is not here or there, but everywhere. I am that river, and my path is its course. Floating gently along, I decide, is better than thrashing about, for peace within myself is peace on earth.